It is September 11th, 2024. This is the 23rd anniversary of the Twin Towers in New York, the uh, September 11th attacks. And that was like a long time ago, but it seems like it was just yesterday. I remember when I got up that morning and seeing the planes crashing into the towers. That was uh, an incredible sight. You know, so again, thoughts and prayers for all those families that was affected. Um, so I'm just talking about Maui, talking about Lahaina, just for a little while, for about 10, 12 minutes or so. Just something really simple. Um, the Lahaina Luna football team is back playing uh, football, the varsity football. And for those of you not in the know, Molokai has a full, full football team, a full, um, legit, regulated football team. Um, it's not those seven and seven or eight on eight teams because they have a lack of student uh, athletes. It's um, they have enough to field at least an 11 man squad on offense and defense excuse me and special teams so Molokai um, has a football team now which is great uh, we over the years we lost some schools uh, that played football St. Anthony St. Anthony doesn't have a football team so uh, you know that's kind of like a, an institution you know growing up we had Baldwin, Maui High, Lahaina Luna, and St. Anthony, those four, th those, four, those four teams. And as, you know, the future set in, we had, uh, you know, schools like King, Kekalike, and, uh, you know, uh, Kamehameha schools in Maui, all up country. So, football season, uh, it's uh, a big thing for Lahaina, Lahaina Luna, well, Maui in general, football's huge. So just being from Lahaina, you know, uh, it's um, a good feeling that the kids are back, the coaches are back, and playing games again, either at War Memorial or uh, back in Lahaina at that beautiful stadium we got there. So, you know, it's been... 13 months and a couple of days since the one year anniversary for us that lost everything in Lahaina and people are moving on. Uh, personally, I try to not think about that and just try to focus on what I got to do. And um, I just been telling people to, to take care of their, you know, their mental health and their physical health as well. Um, over the past few months, there's been quite a few people from Lahaina that became gravely ill or passed away, you know, post fire. So the community is being really uh, thinned out. I said this before, people are still moving. Uh, in fact, I think last week we had two more families that actually moved to Las Vegas for whatever reason. Uh, one of the reasons, of course, is they're, they're, they don't have a home over here anymore. They lost it, and their jobs probably uh, isn't around anymore. So just looking at the future of Lahaina and Maui in general, it it's pretty... Uh, it's, I want to say sad, I'm trying to be positive. Um, it's gonna change, it's changing all the time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm in my 60s already, I'm 60 years old. So, you know, the old saying is it's a, it's a young man's game. Well, it's really the, the, the new generation's game, really, that are coming up the ranks in politics and in business. Uh, they're the ones that's gonna be leading and altering laws, uh, policies and whatnot. So. And you can see it on a national level and a worldwide 
level too how things are changing with different movements and whatnot and um it can drive you nuts right and uh i won't go there because my opinions right now is pretty strong with a lot of the different movements and i question a lot of things i respect people for what they believe in and whatnot but i have a lot of questions that's for another program but i'm just sticking with uh maui maui's people lahaina's people in general but you know now like i said we're all over the place lahaina folks are all over the world really right now so maui what's happening in Ma maui is just expensive it's 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 just changing as the the days go on as we move into the future and like i said you know i'm getting older um you know business people who ran businesses like a couple of decades ago they're fading away so their culture is is on the exit <laughs> they're exiting the stage now like I said, I, I just I'm repeating myself, but it's a it's a younger generation's ball game, really. You know, um, those in their thirties and forties uh, making key decisions for what's going to happen for us uh, as we get older. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's a a good thing. You know, uh, it's amazing when I look at some of my friends who are. I keep thinking they're younger than me and they are like a decade younger but you know they tell me hey man we're in our 50s now or late 40s and I keep forgetting you know everyone's getting older so yeah so that's that dynamic and and you know business and politics um, you know what what is Maui really gonna look like uh, you know when I'm 70 or 80 if I live that long how is it going to be you know we uh me and my friends we talk about the visitor industry and and you know how the younger generation uh tra of travelers has um really affected the whole ball game in the resort industry um to some extent uh the uh from what i hear my friends who are in that uh the industry the service industry which is of course the hotel resort industry if you're on Maui you're tied into that industry no matter what but my friends who are younger actually that do the service jobs have noticed that they're uh, a lot of the younger travelers aren't good tippers uh, it's just their culture uh, some of them maybe didn't travel abroad with their family or even with other people that uh, they don't realize that you know when you go to a restaurant um, it's okay if you have a good server to tip them uh, and and you know most uh, most restaurants already have like a guaranteed they would add the gratuity on it but there's some restaurants you know that they don't add it right on their tab but they have like a, an option, you know, 10%, 15 20%, whatever. And a lot of my friends in the industry are telling me, like, especially the uh, restaurants or whatnot, that don't add that gratuity on it. Um, it's the customer's job to add it. Um, a lot of them aren't even putting cash on the table or on the bar or checking off on the credit card slip uh, to, to add a gratuity. So a lot of... Um, People in the service industry have noticed that the younger generation, uh, in general, not all, just um, you know, a few, aren't into tipping. Into they're not into the gratuity thing. So um, it, it happens. I mean, people of all ages, generations have suffered the the non-tipper. You know, when I was younger, working in restaurants and you know, hashing out cars and. Uh, giving people rides you know it's always a hit and miss but you know they notice in general uh when the younger generations in the hotels or whatnot they, they're not tippers or they're they're bad tippers um it's just a generational thing so how is that going to look you know are, are the hotels I, we, i'm just asking you know are the hotels going to change over will some of the hotels actually be obsolete in a decade or two as the younger generation um, might not have the 
the the money to travel maybe and they want something less expensive so is the high end resorts going to be like a thing of the past it will maui be like a thing of the past you know for the younger generation you know, there, there might be some other places that's more geared to the younger generation with ai and um technology based uh uh resorts if you will so and if you're going that route then maui's going to be obsolete unless they really turn it into a I hate to say it, but like a smart town or a smart resort, um, I just see things heading that way. You know, I mean, AI. I mean, come on. I, I try to be a writer, and nowadays, you know, I got a friend in the mainland that wrote a book, but she didn't write a book. She just kind of punched in something on I don't know what's that chat, chat something or whatever. You know, and she, she did that, and she had a book. Voila, she had a book. You know, AI generated cover. It was a kid's book, and I'm like. Okay, that's great. You didn't have to spend hours with coffee at your MacBook and trying to think things out, which is great, I guess. You know, it's it's here. Um, I just use like Grammarly, you know, but I like to put my thoughts organically, you know, old school, pen to paper, well, keyboard to screen now. So things are changing. So, I, you know, this is a short video. I think Maui... Uh, in the in the in the future, um, they're gonna have to up their game as far as uh, uh, getting a, a new generation of uh, customers, clients to the island. So that's a different dynamic right there. Like I'm getting older, it's a younger generation's ball game. So anyway, uh, not much today. Just something really simple and easy. Uh, I'll be back next time with maybe more, more juicy, <laughs> more juicy stories. I don't like to say that, but better, uh, more interesting what's really happening kind of thing. Um, not really much is happening. Uh, people are just going about their business and uh, trying to figure life out like most of us, most of you, I mean, you know. So you guys take care. God bless and peace. You guys uh, have a nice week.